Hello, hello! Welcome back to our Scuffed Beginner Friendly Tutorial Series. We are up to episode 3, part 2. Today's episode will be about eye physics. This follows on from our previous video on eye rigging. Today we'll be focusing on eye smile, lashes wiggle, lights, mini lashes, expression toggles, and copy and pasting the eye. If you haven't already, feel free to check out our previous videos where we discussed VTuber model design, layer separation, live 2D setups, and we touched on eye rigging. Let's get into it. First up is eye smile. So now let's select on eye L open. Right click here, select. It's going to select all the elements that are active on the eye L open. And you're now going to go to the eye smile. And you're going to create two keyframes. So this is going to toggle on when you're smiling. And your eye shape is going to be changed to a smiley, kind of squishy eye. Right click on this keyframe. And then we'll right click on this keyframe. And we're going to start skewing it. Sweet, now we have our smiling eye. And remember to save your progress. Lashes wiggle physics. Let's make another deformer of the lashes XY. We're going to call this lashes wiggle. Make sure to add your arrow. Now we're going to go to our parameter and you're going to make a parameter called lashes wiggle with a negative one minimum, positive one maximum and default at zero. So now that we got our deformer, you're going to create three keyframes. We're going to need them to make that square again around the eye with the Bezier division numbers, just like this. So let's just go to the left and we're going to create a little curve. And we need it to look like it is kind of uh, falling, <laughs> falling down, falling down the face a little bit. Thank you. 
it only needs to be a little bit and now let's go to the right so positive one and we're going to do the same thing but in the opposite direction so now it needs to look like it's kind of jumping up the face Let's do the fun part. So we're going to go modeling, open physics. So remember we already have the blinking done. So let's go add lashes, wiggle. You're going to click here. And let's find IL open. So for this we want we want this to be position and we want it to be effect 100 so you can just click and drag now here to show our pendulum let's click add and we're going to have to tweak this depending on the model okay so Let's go to output settings and we're going to add our lashes wiggle. You can see that it is starting to show. Let's try increase the scale. That might be too much. So because it was not doing its full range of motion, I decreased the duration. I'm going to decrease the scale a little bit more to make it less intense. Now this part is purely on personal preference. I like to have a bit of jiggle. Let's make it a little bit more bouncy. So under the shaking section, Let's increase that. A little bit too much. I like that. I'm going to change the scale down a little bit. And make it a little bit faster. So an important thing to note, uh, in this menu for physics and scene blending, uh, it is a bit more dramatic than what it is in your VTube studio, so the actual tracking program. So I always like to make it slightly more bouncy, slightly more dramatic here, because it will tone it down in your tracking program. So with that in mind, I will increase it. So you've now completed your first physics model settings. So we're going to do this with our other parameters, like our iris scale and the way that our little shinies jiggle. And then we'll come back here and we'll chuck them in and create more pendulums and have more bouncies. So let's go. Next up is lights physics. I'm going to save it now. Remember, save, save, save. Don't forget to save. You don't want to lose your progress. I've lost my progress before. My computer pooped itself. I lost it. It was a sad time. Rest in peace, progress. Please save, save, save. Save, save, save. I was double saved just to be sure. <laughs> okay, so now let's work on our shiny movement. Our lights are going to rotate around here for some extra physics and movement. If you, let's say, go onto your deformer, you can see under this sub-menu, it shows 
only the parameters active for the selected objects. So here you can see that there are two parameters with keyframes for lights squishy. If I select on the object, the element itself, I can use it because it doesn't have any active parameters for the selected object. So that's good. So if I did have a parameter that was active with it, uh, it wouldn't be good because there can be conflict. So let's say you go through the whole rigging process and then you go into VTube Studio, so your tracking program, and suddenly your settings don't work, your physics don't work, your eye is looking all weird. <laughs> that can be because you have too many parameters active on the same object. So that's why we like to create lots of deformers. And that's why I also recommend using that free trial, the three month free trial of the full version of Live 2D Cubism. You can get all the rigging out the way. This will allow you to use more warp deformers because in the free version, there are a limited amount of warp deformers, unfortunately. So with that in mind, let's get started. So for every element, you want a maximum of two parameters that are active, I'd recommend. Otherwise there can be conflict. So let's go out of that. We now need a new parameter with lights arrow so pointing to this eye with a minimum of negative one a maximum of positive one and a default of zero and then select okay so that's after you go down here and create the new parameter we can now use these lights because there are no active parameters let's go here and add our keyforms so again i'm referencing yoshino art she recommends having an arch. They'll rotate like this in the physics menu, but more like a, a, a jiggle, like this. <laughs> so we need to start deforming them. Uh, we've got our keyframes active, so let's go to the right. We can literally just start dragging them over. I'm actually going to use this tool here. Press B, drag to make it smaller. So you can make it look really weird, you can overlap them, you can skew them, have some fun with it. I'm actually going to spin the spa. <laughs> I'm actually going to spin the star to have some fun. Oh, wee -oo. <laughs> weep, 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 weep. <laughs> okay, and now let's do it the opposite way. I'm going to spin it this way. So let's see how that looks. Once you like that movement, you can go up here and select two more keyframes. So at negative 0.5 and positive 0.5, select OK to make them active. And now, in between this movement, so this one is negative 0.5, we want to make it extra jiggly, extra weird. So let's, <laughs> let's make a little love heart actually. do the same here so you want to make it skewed so now it looks all bubbly now that we have that all done 
we're gonna go back to our physics menu. Don't forget to save. Okay, now let's go to our modeling and open physics scene blending settings. We're gonna go add, we're gonna, and we're gonna call. <laughs> Why can't I speak, bro? Right arrow lights. So we're, we're referencing this eye. And we're gonna go, okay. We're going to add IL open and we're going to add two of these pendulum settings so that our pendulum appears. I'm just going to adjust some of these. Okay, and now we can go to our output settings and we can add our lights, increase the scale make the effectivity a hundred. Have we got the jiggle going? I still feel like it's too fast. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there, otherwise I will never stop. <laughs> Let's move on to iris scale. Let's create a new deformer for this. So we're gonna click on iris squishy. And we're gonna call this one iris scale and it will be the parent of the selected object create perfect now let's create our keyframes so we want to add the three keyforms Pew. magic now for this one you want it to be a minimum of negative 30 and a maximum of 30 and the default should be at zero Having this parameter range from negative 30 to positive 30 is going to allow for a slower range of motion to allow for a more dramatic spin of the iris. So let's just increase our number of conversion divisions. Let's try 7. 7 by 7. So for our number of conversion divisions, we're going to go 6 by 6, but you can increase it as you need to. To have a square around our pupil. You can also hold control and adjust your position and size of your deformer without affecting any of the elements inside of it. And now that we have a nice square around our pupil, we're going to drag this here to the left and squish the iris. So now what we're going to do, we're going to rotate. Let's drag this one towards that corner, this one towards that corner, this one down, and this one up. So it looks like an X. And what we're going to do now is follow it all the way around. So this creates a spinning motion. Hold shift and drag. We're going to select our iris. We're going to hold shift and alt. And we're going to decrease the size of our pupil and make sure that the box around your pupil is selected. I'm also going to drag this down a little bit. And don't worry if it deforms a little bit because in the physics settings it's going to be a fast motion. Let's go to the right. And what we're going to do is this time we're going to make it bigger. So shift click. Let's make it bigger. Hold shift. We're going to go anti-clockwise. So drag all of these anti-clockwise.
Let's hold shift and select that square around the pupil again. Shift and Alt and make it bigger. So at first it might look a little intense, but what we're going to do now is go to modeling, open physics, we're going to add iris scale. Select OK. Add two pendulums. Let's add here I open L. Effective 100%. Go to output settings. Add. Find your iris scale. So you can see that it's not moving. And that's because we adjusted our parameter range. So our other parameters were minus 1 to 1, whereas this one is minus 30 to positive 30. So let's make this 30. And we can now see that it is effective. I'm just going to play with these settings. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to make this bigger. I'll go back to modeling, open physics. And that looks better. So remember it will be less intense in your tracking program. Let's save our progress. Now we have mini lashes physics. So now we're going to add a lash wiggle. Let's select our lashes. Let's create a new deformer and call it mini lashes. With an arrow. Your parameter that you're going to create is minus one to positive one with a default of zero. We're going to create our keyframes to make it active. So what we're going to do is go to the left, increase our number of conversion divisions. And now we're going to create a little wiggle for our lashes. You can select up here edit level, one refine, to get rid of the Bezier division numbers. And this can give you more control. And you can do that as well for the bottom lashes. And make it wiggle. You have got your wiggle. So we can go into our physics menu. Let's go add. 
mini lashes. So we'll go add. We're going to go with IL open. Create new. Output settings. Add mini lashes. Where output parameter. Remember turn effectiveness to 100%. And now we have a lash jiggle. And I like how wiggly that is. So I'm going to leave it there. Let's work on our expression toggles. So now that we have the basics of our eye complete and our physics, what I'm going to work on is the expressions. So go to your lashes XY, create another deformer, and we're going to call this one expression. So this one is going to be for our angry expression. So the parameter is going to be a toggle. So it's going to be minimum zero, default zero, maximum one. The ID is going to be angry and the name is going to be angry. And select OK. And you're only going to need two keyforms on this one. So zero is normal. And then one is going to be angry. We're back up to edit level. Select two. And we're going to start making our eye look angry. So I like to just make it squint a little bit at these corners. That already has a huge impact. Look, that, that already looks angry. I'm going to bring this up a little bit as well. Perfect. So we have got an angry expression now. We're going to add sad eyes. Let's actually create a new deformer. So sad expression. I'm going to rename this one angry expression. We've got the sad expression. Let's add two keyframes. It's going to be called sad eyes. ID sad eyes. Okay drag it to the right and I think that sad eyes would start looking up like this so this one's angry and this one's sad I'm gonna create a happy expression Okay, I'm going to now go to my toggle section. I'm now going to rig all the other emotes that I personally have. I'll just fast forward through these because not everybody has them.
So we have our iris moving around with our pupil. We have the light wiggles. We have the eyelash wiggles. And, and we have the whole eye jiggle as well. I've also made an evil eye toggle. A confused toggle that I will animate. Um, I've got an angry toggle. A sad eye toggle. We've got a smile. We've got our tears toggle. Heart eye toggle. Star eye toggle. Vein toggle. So that is it for the eye. Now for our final step, let's copy and paste and flip the eye so that we can have them both working together. So what we're going to do now is we are going to copy and paste this eye and we're going to flip it horizontally. So what we need to do is make sure that you have all of your deformers open. It can't be closed like this, it needs to be open. Click on the last item, hold shift click and copy to the top. What this is going to do is it's going to select the entire eye. It looks kind of crazy right now. <laughs> so yeah, double check that everything's open. Otherwise it won't copy over. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go control C. Or you can go edit copy. And now we're going to go control V. We can see that it has now copied it because there are two. We're going to right click, reflect, make sure that it says reflect horizontally and we're going to select eyeball X and leave everything else and go OK. You can now go to the top deformer, hide everything, drag this eye so that it's on top of this eye. We can shift click and drag it over. That looks right to me. So now we're going to hide the other eye. And voila, you have both eyes. But it's not done yet. We need to select the shinies. It's now on the wrong side. So you can right click, reflect. Reflect horizontally. Reflect parameters lights. And you need to move all of these over. there we go. What we need to do, because this eye is still attached to all of this eye's parameters, such as this open, IL open, when it, this eye needs to be on IR open, we can detach those parameters and put them on their own parameters for this eye. So we need to make sure that we have our IR open, I smile with that arrow compared to this arrow, and mini lashes with that arrow, this parameter, and our lashes wiggle, our lights, and our iris scale. What you can do is if you don't have this parameter, you can right click and go replicate parameters and it copies it, and then you can just adjust the name of it here. That will be another way to get this parameter. I will delete it because I already got one. We're going to select our copy and pasted eye. So that's this one. So we're going to open up everything again. Okay, okay. Now, now we've got it all open. Click on the bottom one. And click on the top item. We're going to left click on eye I'll open. We're going to right click. Change. And we're going to select IR open. And what this is going to do is it's going to select a new parameter location. And we're going to select OK. Now we're going to edit the parameter, change the default to 0.8. And now we have our independent eye. We can now do that for everything else. So I smile. Now we can go to these, 
the mini lashes change. I'm gonna do the lash wiggle now. I'm gonna do our lights. And finally our iris scale. So we now have two independent eyes. We will keep the X and Y together because they both need to move together with that one. And that's the same with the toggles. We need them to be working together with those. So now the final part of the eyes would be to adjust the physics. Let's go to our physics. And you can see that this one will not jiggle. This one does jiggle. And this is because we need to go to these physics settings. We can duplicate. So we'll start with mini lashes. We'll duplicate. Change the arrow to this eye now. So now we're working with this eye. We're going to do IR open. And mini lashes for the right eye, which is this eye, because it's from the perspective of the VTuber model. So we've got our lashes working. Let's go back to input settings. Oh, well, let's, let's work bottom up. We'll go with iris scale. Let's duplicate. We'll go with our lights. And now our lights jiggle. We're going to go to lashes wiggle. Voila, we have our eyes done. And now what you can do just to finish off would be to rename all of these parts if you wanted. Okay, I have just renamed everything and it is all good to go. I'm going to make a a blunt decision. I'm going to delete my old eye. And now I won't be confused. If you do make a mistake, like for example, um, you accidentally warped your element instead of a deformer, or you just want to go back to the start, you can go uh, modeling, edit form, revert to original. And here you can also see the control shift C, control shift V, that allows you to copy parameters from one keyform to another. So yeah, those are our eyes done. They are all working. They look good. Look at them. <laughs> it's going to look good when it all comes together. What we'll do next time is we will work on the mouth and then after that we'll work on the eyebrows and the face X and Y. Look at them bouncing. So cute. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you stay tuned for the other tutorials. Let me know if you have any questions below or uh, any recommendations because um, I'm still learning as well so I'd love to hear your advice and yeah peace